My parents had me take piano lessons when I was uh, 13, but I, only, I stopped very soon uh, afterwards because I uh, didn't like to practice. Um, I didn't like the, the routine of it, the regimentation of it. And I didn't pick up another instrument again until I was almost 20 years old after seeing Muddy Waters uh, play. Um, I said, well, maybe the guitar is, is my instrument. Muddy couldn't pronounce my last name <clears throat> whenever he'd call me up to sit in. Um, he, he just kind of rumbled, Ronnie, you know, something. And, I, and uh, he said, you know, you should get a name or something that, you know, so I thought about it. And I, I love Earl Hooker. He's one of my favorite musicians and uh, Earl King too. And Earl Monroe, the basketball player. So I chose Earl and it uh, seems to work pretty good. I worked with Big Walter Horton a lot, the great, great, blues harmonica virtuoso. He kind of took me under his wing and we lived together in my apartment, small apartment. And he was probably the first really big name in blues, along with Otis Rush, who helped me a lot too. And I worked with him. That was a difficult time in my life in Room Pool of Blues. A wonderful band, a good experience. Thank God I lived through it. <laughs> to be honest, I was um, um, really using a lot of drugs back then. And um, I don't know if it's OK to talk about that or not, if it can help somebody. Um, I was, uh, you know, um, using cocaine. and to help me uh, deal with the rigors of the road. Um, a few years after I left, I, f I finally stopped going on the road for a while and, and stayed at home and went for walks and started working with retarded adults again, which is what I got my degree in, in special education. Um, and um, I, needed, I needed about five years to recover from all of that. And um, it's been this year now that I've started to go out <clears throat> again and play. Mm -hmm. 